In the Unresolved Problems segment tonight, the far left running wild. What a surprise. Take a look at how they treat one of their favorite targets, GOP strategist Karl Rove. Why is there no woman up here? You know, we need a California woman up here. I am one. I'm Janine Bonaparte. But I'm, I have to do an a, a citizen's arrest. A citizen's arrest for treason. The architect of Occupy Iraq. No, no, I didn't say go ahead. I would say you get away. Look what you did. You, you outed a CIA officer. You lied to take us to war. You ruined the country. If you want to keep interrupting me, you can get the heck out of here. He's the zealot of heckling. Joining us now from Washington to respond is Mr. Rove. Carl, I would put you under citizen's arrest, but I left my handcuffs in a hotel in Harrisburg. Are yeah. you just as evil as they think you are? Are you just like, you are such an easy, hecklable target? Well, first of all, let me say this. You, you, you strung together about five years' worth of heckling there. <laughs> yes. Uh, the, the one that happened this week was at the University of Mass in Amherst, a very liberal campus and a very liberal community. But i got to say, I hope people don't go away thinking of uh, the visit to the campus only through the eyes of those two lunatics reading. They had to read their heckle off of a piece of pink paper. <laughs> I mean, how pathetic is that? Look, most of the crowd was respectful. Uh, we had a great evening, except for the lunatics. Uh, I had a number of kids, you know, look, I gave a speech for about 30, 35 minutes. I took questions for, for about close to an hour. Uh, there were kids who stood in line and said, look, I disagree with, uh, you know, everything you stand for and what you believe, but, you know, thanks for coming to campus, and here's my question. And so uh, that's fine. Uh, but it is interesting to me. There is a, a segment of the left, uh, you know, very ultra-liberal people who, uh, you know, liberalism claims to be a tolerant, you know, sort of of equality oriented group of people these people are not tolerant uh, they, they, they don't worry about other people's rights uh, they, they, you know when 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 the police started taking people out of the out of the uh, auditorium at UMass uh, they began to, uh, the, the, the the rest of the people began to applaud and I couldn't have been treated nicer the, the security people were great the Chancellor of the University Chancellor uh, Swami came uh, admonished the crowd after they started doing this to please stop and and the, and, and, and my suspicion is most most of them were not students, and, and, and mm -hmm. if they were, by God, they're, they're in remedial class because to, it is really pathetic <laughs> to have to read your heckle off of a piece of paper. And they were trying to do it in unison. I mean, yeah. it's really sort of funny. Yo, it's weird. Even while you were talking just now, I had the urge to heckle you. So I think you it's, know, actually, it's more your fault, I think, than them because. Yeah, it's my fault. It's my fault. And you know what? Speaking of, of, of feeling something, just the idea of you. Running the factor tonight gives me some concern about what is going to happen to the O'Reilly factor after you finished with it. I mean, my God, man, how did you do this? Well, how I did have you a, get in control? I have sort of the drugged in the basement. I'm in control here. He has no idea I'm doing this show right now. By the way, this show is never going to air. I want to ask you, though, how, why is it that when there, you rarely see, I would say, conservatives uh, do this kind of heckling whenever there is a, there's a liberal icon or a liberal commentator uh, on campus? Generally, if you see someone like yourself, you got to dodge uh, pies. But that never happens when, uh, you know, a, a, a leftist is up there. Is it because conservatives are just more polite? Or is it because well, they, I don't know, they're just yeah, nicer I th people? Look, I think, I, think, I think part of it is that. Right? Conservatives are more polite and respectful. I think re re conservatives do have, a, a, you know, tend to have a decent respect for other people's opinions and a natural curiosity. And look, so do a lot of liberals. But there is an element, an intolerant group on the left who, if you are from the center right, they don't want you playing in their, on their playground. They, you know, look, that for, for weeks, literally, the president of the UMass Republicans, wonderful kid named David Coffey, Hoffman, told me that the president of the protesters, the organizers, the head of the American Friends Service Committee, call, emailed him and said, respectfully, please re remove your, you know, revoke your invitation to Mr. Rove. And I mean, that's their mindset. Don't, don't let conservative opinion come on the campus. What do they have to fear? They, you know, that's the, and you can shut them down when they're sitting there screaming and yelling. I just say, look, what are you afraid of? Why don't you just sit down, shut up, and then when we get to the Q&A period, you stand behind the microphone and I'll take your question. And, uh, you know, most people, even if they don't agree with you, want to have things done in the regular order. You know, when uh, I had, did a speech in Berkeley and I anticipated heckling and I brought a super soaker uh, water gun because I figured no one had ever done that before. That if somebody starts heckling, you just fire them, just high-powered water in their face. Unfortunately, 
nobody showed up. But anyway, here's the thing. You, I, I think it's important that you bring up this fact that they don't want you to come there. If you are confident in your beliefs, uh, isn't this kind of a measure of insecurity that they don't want you there because they're perhaps scared that maybe yeah. their own feelings about what they believe in are, are maybe not as strong as they think? Well, I'm not going to analyze them uh, with regard to their own feelings, but I do know they don't like having conservatives on campus. And, and it's because, look, they don't want us to be making the argument because they know the argument will sway some people. I went to Yale a couple years ago to the Yale Political Union where they assign you a topic for the evening and you give a speech and then you take questions until they're finished having you answer questions and then you leave and then they vote on the resolution. The resolution that night was resolved Obamacare should be repealed and at the end of the evening after we finished hammering it one way up and down the other and I left, they called me in the car on the way back to the hotel and said guess what, the Yale Political Union has voted in the affirmative that resolved Obamacare should be repealed. Mm -hmm. So that we can, we can make the case, if we make the case and we make it with passion and with logic and with facts and with emotion, we, we can win the case. You know, it's, I find it interesting that right now there's a brouhaha brewing in uh, Harvard uh, uh, they, where they've invited a misogynist rapper uh, to perform uh, for the students, uh, which I find interesting because so many campuses would, be, uh, would not welcome uh, members of the military, uh, veterans, uh, or people like you, but uh, I think it's pronounced Taiga, though I'm not sure. Uh, he is more than welcome. Why is that? Well, don't give me, don't ask me to explain the weird attitudes of some of these elite Eastern universities <laughs> with their weird, you know, a friend of mine who's, whose son goes to a school, I'm not going to mention the name of the school, but his, his father was horrified to get this email with his son recounting all of the sexually explicit and sexually perverted, you know, sort of, uh, you know, events that they were highlighting on the campus, it, it, condoned by the administration, and this, you know, having a misogynist rapper at at uh, Harvard, one of the most liberal, feminist-oriented schools in the country, just strikes me as really, really weird. Yeah, I have another theory on why uh, conservatives don't heckle. They're usually working. All right, Carl, thank you so much. Plenty.